Hi, this is Pearl and welcome to my channel. Today, I have for you my Byredo makeup that just came in. Now, Byredo is a luxury perfumer and I do have several of their Byredo, the Byredo perfumes and I freaking love them. So, when they decided to come out with a makeup release, I was so excited and I looked and then it looked so editorial that I was like, oh my gosh, I'm not gonna be able to wear that. But then when it was actually released, they showed people wearing it norm normally <laughs> like an everyday person would. So I thought I would go ahead and try these. So here's my collection. It came beautifully boxed like their perfume does. And it came wrapped like this. And here are all of my products. I got a lot of products. So let's go ahead and unbox these and see what we have. I got five of their color sticks. I got three of their lipsticks. I got one eyeliner and one mascara. So let me go ahead. And they sent over two little um, samples of their perfumes. One is in the, I can't even say them, but let me just put them right here. These are the perfumes that they sent over samples. Okay, so let's go ahead and swatch these. So this Byredo collection is in collaboration with Issa, Issa Maya, Issa Maya French, Issa Maya French, is that how you say it? And let's go over the eye color sticks. So they all come beautifully packaged like this. This is the eye stick. And then it has the name of the color on the back, but let me read to you what it says about these. Oh, and it's got a great magnetic closure. So the color sticks, the universal product, a multi-use stick to be used all over the face, buildable coverage that is easy to apply, easy to apply and combine with other Byredo color sticks to contrast or enhance. Housed in a silver metal, the slim stick with curved bullet lip is designed to be used easily, quickly, and instinctively while eschewing ultra perfection. The intense color is blendable with fingers or a brush. The color stick comes in finishes aligned to corresponding shades, encompassing lightweight, dewy matte and creamy textures suitable for cheeks, eyes, and lips. These are all kind of sticking together because they're magnetic. <laughs> okay, let's try these colors. So the first color I have here is Ancient. Ancient is a shimmery warm brown, a dry cream stick to deepen the tones on eyes, lips, or bronze the cheeks. So that's Ancient. The next color is Flower Play. And this one is described as a very transparent, delicate pink. Ooh, it is transparent. Look at that. A very transparent, delicate pink, a dewy cream stick for a healthy, glossy touch on eyes, lips, or cheek. So that is Flower Play. This one is Kumado. It looks like a green. Of course, I had to get a green. A soft metallic khaki green. A dry cream stick to illuminate the eyes or color the lips. Ooh, who's going to color their lips with this? But that's a beautiful green. So that's Kamada. This color is Great Sands. And this is described as a nude brown. There it is right there. A nude brown with shimmers, a dewy cream stick to highlight the eyes, lips, or cheeks. And then the last color that I got is Vienna. And this one is described as a very transparent gold. A dewy cream stick to highlight and gloss eyes, lips, or cheeks. So that's Vienna. Okay, see how these all seem very rare? They came out with 16 shades and I decided to get five of them. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, first I'm going to go into this color. This is in Ancient. I'm just going to draw that onto my eyes. Look at how... And it blends nicely with your finger. Look at that. I'm not sure what I was expecting, but I think I was expecting something more harsh. Well, harsh might not be the word. More pigmented because of the way it 
portrayed on the editorial like ads that were coming out. Okay, the next color I'm gonna take is Great Sands. It's this one right here, and I'm gonna use that to color onto my, look at how pretty that is. Let me bring you in just a little bit closer. Look at how pretty that is. I don't even need to blend it out with my hand or with my finger. That is so pretty. And I'm kind of overlapping it onto the last color. Isn't that pretty? Okay, I wanna try this green. This one is in Kumado. Let's take this green on the outer portion of this lid. Then I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna kinda just tap that and blend that in a little bit. Put a little bit more. Then I'm gonna take the pink shade. This one is in Flower Play. And I'm gonna draw that right onto the front portion of that eye. This is so pretty. And I'm just gonna tap that in with the green. Isn't that a pretty color? Tap that. Now these are very like wet. I'm gonna take this color that I have in Vienna and I'm gonna just put it right on the inner corner of my eye and bring it down just a little bit. I'm gonna go back in with Kumada and I'm gonna line my lower lash line. And then I'm going back in with Ancient and I'm gonna line this lower lash line. Okay. There you have the two looks. They also came out with a liquid liner. This is what the case looks like. It's not heavy at all. It's super light and it comes in this green case and this is what it says. Perfect intensity in a single stroke with a high precision applicator. Smudge and transfer proof with humidity resistance and 99.2% ingredients of natural origin. Vegan formula. Whether bold or fine lines, they stay true for 12 hours. I wonder if that's true even with this, with this wet look. The eyeliner is housed in a distinct green container inspired by nature, yet abstracted and futuristic in feel. So let me go ahead and try to do this. I am not very good with the liquid liner. It comes with like this felt tip. Let's go ahead and try this. Oh look, it's already creasing on my greasy eyelids. See how green has come out this way? Let me try patting that out. Okay. Well, that was somewhat easy to put on. Let me put on this side and I'll be right back. Okay, then they came out with a mascara called Space Black and it comes in this component. See how it's bent there? Let me read to you what it says. It's defining and buildable to enhance and sculpt the lashes from the root. 85% of ingredients of natural origin. In its striking curved red container, just abstract, tantanic, Totemic and ergonomic, the Byredo mascara is as much a treasured object as a beauty tool. Its short precision silicone brush can be used to reach lashes individually, enhancing and sculpting. Vegan formula. And it is, I opened this already. Look at this wand. See how it's, you can barely see it. And it's like flatter on one side and then it's got short bristles. So on the flat side, I take it up to the base of my lashes to coat the base. And then with the short bristles, I coat my lashes and it lengthens. This is a pretty good mascara. Okay, I got three of the lipsticks. It comes in a curved case. Kind of makes a slight like S. 
And let's read what it says about these lipsticks. By the way, I bought all of this on Byredo.com because on release date, I went to Selfridges and a lot of it was already sold out. So I went to the Byredo website to do this. For the lipsticks, it says it's color riche with an exceptional formulation that is both comfortable and impeccable. Byredo lipstick has sumptuous levels of color saturation and does not dry the lips. Hmm. In its silver gold lip color metal curve linear casing, the form of Byredo lipstick echoes bamboo. Here, the organic shape and distinct weight also play on the precious quality of cosmetic casings past, today, and brought into the future. Within, a precision slim line stick is protected by a oh-satisfying magnetic click. And this is really heavy. It might be one of the most heavy lipsticks I have and oh, that lip, that is so satisfying. So let's go ahead and try these out. This one is in the color Commuter. This is what the shade looks like. And let's swatch it right here. That's pretty, let's try it on. Ooh, you only do need one swipe. So this is Commuter. Okay, the next lipstick color that I got is Earth Dust. This is what that color looks like. Isn't that pretty? Earth Dust. That's a pretty nude. And it did have a B on there for Byredo, but this is the second time I'm recording this. Earth Dust. Well, that's a pretty color. It's so comfortable, it's not sticky, and it's very moisturizing. And then the last color that I got is called red and blue, and this is what the color looks like. I decided I wanted to try a red color. So let's swatch that here. It seems more like a bright red with like a fuchsia berry kind of color in there, doesn't it? Woo! Okay, and this is red and blue, pretty. Okay, so those are all of my products from Byredo. Let's go ahead and talk about these products. So these eye color crayon color sticks, these are a no-go for me. If you look closely, it's already separating into my crease on my eyelids. I will, I did powder them down after putting concealer down, but I will try it with lid primer and see if it works any differently. So be on the lookout for my product review at the end of the month. But right now these are, uh, mm, not really. The liquid liner worked really well. Now I'm not a liquid liner person, but it was pretty easy to make this eye look. I am not very good at doing a cat eye, so don't judge. But I love the mascara. I love that the wand was so thin. And then there's a part there where you can, um, excuse my hand, I got into a skateboarding accident. <laughs> there's a part of the wand that you can push and um, zhuzh at the bottom of your roots, of your lashes, and it really helps coat them. And then the thin bristles, or short bristles I should say, really help lengthen the lashes. So I do like this. And the lip products are really soft and moisturizing and pigmented. I'm impressed. And they're very hefty, very luxe feeling. Okay, what do you guys think? Are any of you guys getting any of these products? Is, does it sound interesting at all? I know Byredo is not a big company name, but I love their perfume. So I thought I would go ahead and try it. Okay, thanks for joining me. If you enjoyed this type of video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know every time I upload a video, and I'll see you next time. Peace. Peace. I was listening to you. You were? Sim, sim, sim.
Can I take the picture? No, I'm just doing a red video. What are you doing with that face? Okay, 